Okay, my name is Lucy Infante. I'm a mother of two. I have six grandchildren, and they're all adorable. <laughs> and um, I got into the art business um, on my own. I've, I've always loved uh, colors. And uh, so I started studying on my own, you know, getting, going to Barnes and Nobles and reading up on Matisse, uh, Van Gogh and Picasso and just studying their art. And one day I found myself sketching my daughters when they were little girls. And that's how I started by sketching them and now every time I do an art piece I, I sketch it first before I do it, you know, to get the, the gist of it. Like this piece right here, mm -hmm. when it, it's, it's, it's uh, still life with abstract and uh, I incorporated both of them because uh, I had, like, like I said, I put layers. I had something here before and I didn't like it, so I added, I added these flowers to brighten it up because um, this, this seems so serious to me. You know, a woman holding her child and it felt like she never wanted to let go of the child. So you could tell that she's really holding that child. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's, that's what I was feeling at the moment. Mm -hmm. And maybe in my own um, life, you know, since I had two daughters uh, in my life, there were, there were times when I was holding on to mine mm -hmm. and not letting go. So I guess it came out in this picture. Yeah. I've been mean, painting. Yeah. It helps me because I I, I, I love flowers and, and, and I, I love uh, nature and, and it brightens me up and I, I love being a mother and, 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 and having my children so in, in that aspect it, it, it brightens me up mm -hmm. and because I love it so much and there are times when I'll paint and, and, and I'll say oh no this is not good and I'll just and then I'll just blacken it and, and, and just stare at it now what should I do I don't like this black I don't like this black, so then I change it and I put the white over and over and over till, till it's really white and then I'll paint something that's cheerful. Because I love colors, so I look for the brightness in colors. Mm -hmm. Not too dab, only, only sometimes. Mm -hmm. But I like um, more colors, they're more expressive. I love this one because um, it's an exaggeration of Van Gogh's uh, painting that he did. Mm -hmm. And I can relate with Van Gogh because he also had, was mentally challenged. Mm -hmm. And the flower one, mm -hmm. you know, with the exaggeration of the sunflowers. Mm -hmm. So I can relate, yes, mm -hmm. I can relate with him. Mm -hmm. I like uh, a lot of good emotions, but sometimes um, I will express some sad emotions. So it, 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 it depends on how I'm feeling that day, mm -hmm. if my mood is, is right. Mm -hmm. Because one day I'll be fine, next day I could be moody. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and it comes out in the paintings. This is uh, Lost in Thought. And the reason I, I put this, because I was lost in thought. I couldn't finish the painting. 
You know, it was from 2010 that I started and I hadn't finished it. Mm -hmm. It was like half, half and half. And, and, and I don't know what got into me that I, I just made her face, uh, I tripled it. And, and, and stepped back and looked at it and I said, my God, you know, she really is lost in thought like me. And, and you know, in a way, it, it, it started out also out as I was trying to do, because I was thinner before and I started doing it as a portrait of me. Mm. And I had short hair and, you know, I used to wear it like that, mm -hmm. sticking out like that. So, in a way, she's a little bit of me, mm -hmm. you know, lost in thoughts. For What motivates for me to paint? Yeah. That I love it, mm -hmm. and that it, it, it relaxes me. And there's nobody around to tell me what to do, or interrupt me, or uh, just, just I just I just engulf myself into it, you know, and it's another world. It's like you're in another world. Hi, my name is Jamal Williams. I'm 29 years old, and I'm an artist. All right, I come from. I'm originally from the Bronx, but I moved here to North Carolina in August of 2009 to be with my family, and. I like being here also, it's a good environment. I started, I came here in February of 2010 because I had a mental illness starting back way back in 2002, I had a mental breakdown. So it's been a long time, it was a very long time before I came here in February of 2010, but when I came here, I finally came here, I felt like I could communicate with other people, like I could feel more normal minded. So that's why I, I like coming here, it's, really, it's a really good place for me. Well, when I work on my drawings, it makes me feel more, more, more happier. It makes me feel happier. It makes me feel more calmer, more calm. It makes me feel like I can, I have a time, I have something I can display and work on that's for myself and that's mine. That's why I like drawing. That's why I like it. Well, I've been doing it for a lot of years, so I'm kind of used to it. But I guess in some ways it has changed my life in a bit. All right. All right. As I as I grow, my characters and my drawings grow. Well, I mostly draw like uh, my own superior characters. So I've been drawing my own superior characters since I was nine years old. My first group of characters I ever drawn were the Ninja Raccoons. I even remember the date, November 17, 1992. So when I say that my ca that my characters have grown as I've grown, I mean that I give them new powers, new origins, I give them new allies, I give them more enemies to fight, bigger, stronger enemies. Especially in Ninja Coons, I give them bigger, stronger enemies and make them grow more, mm -hmm. as well as the other characters. So that's why I like doing them. I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to my drawing, so I think you know, they look, you may think they look like that, and they're really good. I think they can look a lot better. All, all, the the drawings in the art is like the big, the biggest thing in my life, my day. So, mm -hmm. honestly, um, it's I guess I guess you could say it's enjoyable, but sometimes I do get frustrated that it doesn't come out right. So that's why you know I get a little upset with it doesn't come out right. So I keep at it because I know one day I'll be able to achieve my goal, which is to make it look like a quintessential combo character. So, it feels it feels me like I can look forward to it actually. Like I I can really do good, do better with my drawings. Like I feel look more look forward to, forward. I can look forward to it more. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like I can I can I like like, it's, like in a way it's fun for me in a way even though it's very stressful sometimes. Mm -hmm. I want them to say, oh man, that that guy did a good job on his drawings. I wish I could be like him someday. But maybe like a little kid, maybe look at it like. Someone that's a lot like me, that little kid, and like, gee, mommy or daddy, I want to be like him when I grow up. No. It makes you feel inspired, it makes you feel more motivated to do my drawings. So, I think it, 
even though even though drawing it makes me happy, it would help if I would get my work out there or show it to other people. So yeah, but despite that, I think drawing will make drawing will make me happier. I decided to participate in this project because I want to get my I want to get my work out there. I want them to the people to see that I'm a good artist. So yeah, it's good that I'm able to do that, you know. I, I mean, I, I I would love to get someone get I would love scouts to like find me and like you know see if they can give me the work from all comics or DC comics or whatever. So yeah, I can feel good about that. Another part of it that is even if I don't get to work from all the comics or any of that, like I can still get some cool. I can still like it makes me motivated to like do more better and to come up with better skill drawing skills. So that, cause that's what I've been thinking in my mind all the time. Like, man, if I go to an art 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 exhibit, then they see my work and they say, "Oh, you did this good, but you did you did work on that." Then that'll get me more hopped up to do better and make my drawings look better. That's that's really that's really the payoff for me. The drawing drawing helps my mental recovery by by make making my mind feel more uplifted, more energized. Like I can, I can do more if I want to. So, yeah. Like, I, like if I, if I draw on any, more on my characters, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be like, I can like, oh man, I, I can't wait to draw this character. And my, when I say I can't wait to draw the character, my mind will be like racing, and I'll come up with more ideas. As I come up with more ideas, I'll feel more into it. I'll feel more, my, I like myself more normal. So that's how it helps with my mental illness. Why is that important for other people to know? Because it can help them with their mental illness as well. It can help them do better with their mental illness or if they draw a picture of their own then they can feel more relieved with themselves, you know? Mm -hmm. that's, that's what I think. Well, my name's Loretta McCutcheon. I was working on this piece here for this one in the background here. Mm -hmm. I've been working on it for um, maybe about a year and a half but uh, uh, I started making it when I was uh, in uh, um, the Caldwell Women's Shelter, Caldwell Presbyterian mm -hmm. uh, Church, they have a shelter there that they partner with the um, Salvation Army but anyways I was staying right there and um, some of the girls were noticing that I had uh, started picking items up from the ground off the sidewalks and not if it was dirty, though. I mean, just no way, because I have a problem with dirt. <laughs> but <laughs> um, so um, I started to save them up to make. I knew what I wanted to make, but I didn't know how to really piece it. So I thought, well, uh, I got the idea that um, that maybe. How pe you know how people say you start from square one, mm -hmm. you know? So I thought, well, I'll just start in the middle and work my way out. And um, then I just started to glue pieces on in a circle. <clears throat> and some places don't really look like it ended up in a circle, but... <laughs> <laughs> and I think it turned out square, kind of, in the end, but... Um, uh, the things on this picture, things that I found on the sidewalks in, in the time that I was homeless, that I stayed in the Caldwell shelter. And uh, it wasn't just me. It was um, whenever I started to accumulate and put things together, some of the girls in the uh, shelter, they'd see what I was doing at night with my glue and my weird things like this. <laughs> and... Uh, uh, when I'd come home to the shelter in the evening, um, I'd find things laying on my bed that the girls had donated. I started making uh, some gift bags, too, when I was in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And um, my friend Sue, she's a genius, she <laughs> said, um, why don't you... Um, See, how did I do it? Oh, I first I made them into just regular pictures. I made a couple of pictures and put them in some frames that I found at the free store. And um, 
I brought him over to this store called Ruby's Gift in Noda, and then I um, asked him if I could try to sell my pictures there. But uh, I had my little cloth bag I was carrying, and I had um, um, some that I, a couple that I had put on a bag, you know, it was my friend Sue's idea. <laughs> and uh, she looked in my bag, the lady at the counter, and she goes, well, those look nice. Why don't we shoot for these? I was like, oh. Wow. <laughs> and so um, I started drawing, freehand drawing my pictures and putting them on, I color them with my colored pencils mm -hmm. and put them on my, on these bags, you know. <laughs> and so um, I just keep drawing and, uh, keep doing my art mm -hmm. and um, it's peaceful it's a peaceful thing to do mm -hmm. I hope that they learn that um, there is comfort in creating uh, well um, it's just it's peaceful you know you got your glue or whatever you're doing. You know, if somebody's a painter, I'm not really much of a painter, but <laughs> um, I mean, if somebody's like a painter or does what I do or sculpts or whatever, um, there's relaxation in that. Uh, I found that for me personally. Um, it takes you away from your stress. I think... Um, even when you just like, on a personal note, when I even just look at, just look at some art, um, I try to, like that picture on the wall here of the dogs, I, I try to, this is just me though, I try to look for the artist's heart in the picture, you know, what were they going through, you know, or uh, what was on their mind whenever they made this. And did they find comfort in it? My name is Wayne Russell. We are, I'm, I'm very athletic. Play all sports, football, baseball, basketball. I'm reading all of them. I should be a pro athlete, but I didn't make it. Scott Lynch said, I got bad luck. See? I bad luck. I want to be a baseball player. Show sure, stuff for the New York Yankees. But they're just a big man for it. That's life. <laughs> <laughs> how, no, how this is this a. It's not very creative. It's a house. What's so creative about this? It's beautiful. Okay. Thank you. What does that What does that house mean to you then? You were talking a little bit earlier about what that means. Independence. I'm my own place. But I'm not worrying about it though. I wish I, I could still go home about 20 years from now. When I want to get older, I don't want to live in a um, I'm not sure I'm like older. But this is my house. This is where I want to stay at. And, and that's, that's allowed me independence to me. So I don't want people to take me on my... It's a child. A child makes people take care of all their life. You gotta grow up, move out, and take care of yourself. You can't live with the parents all your life. You can't make people take care of yourself all their life. You gotta move on. Don't sit in the set and make people go for independence. Don't make people take care of you all your life. You feel like a child. You don't feel, I don't feel like a dog. I can get up and tell what to do. That's childish. Grow up. Be on your own. Take care of yourself. That's what, that's, that's, what, that's what I also want to be living in t 20 years from now. I want to have my own place 20 years from now. This, 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 this doesn't mean nothing. I can't see nothing what I really mean by it. That's just joy. The joy, this is depending on the person they feel that day. Like, who's that sad artist that drives those sad colors, sad, those dark colors? Mm -hmm. And what the bus stroke and the compress look like? It look, like, it look very sad. Remember, look, remember they feel sad, I don't know why. Remember, remember they, they're in that mortal, so they draw that, they sit in that mortal, so they, they, they just get sad. That's why most people are making it sick because they can't face up reality, they, they're going to die. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's why most people get sick. Most, most mental people, they, they, they know they're not going to die someday, mm -hmm. so they get real sad. Mm -hmm. When they, they put the thickness of the painting mm -hmm. and then when the store they draw it, like this, I know this guy, the, remember the face of this lady? You saw it's kind of what blocking like? Who's that name on the painting? Who painted that again? Yeah, 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 scream, yeah. yeah. See, that's that painting I say. That's a sad looking painting. Mm -hmm. You know, it was very sad that day. 
I like painting that's 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 um more more um more more lifelike like landscaping trees mm -hmm. I like I like realistic painting mm -hmm. but I don't like in a touch on painting everybody can do that mm -hmm. but everybody can do that even that child can do that mm -hmm. but most people can't draw like reality painting and people draw people mm -hmm. landscaping mm -hmm. and stuff like that's the kind of painting I like to look at mm -hmm. Well, how does it make you feel when people, I mean, either look at your paintings or hear your songs? How does that make you feel when other people kind of respond nice, to Nice, nice. I feel good. I feel good about myself. How do you feel about the fact that I really liked your painting and I would use it for something? That's great. I feel good. I feel good. I feel real good. Yeah. Yeah. But me taking my mind off that topic, mm -hmm. taking your mind off certain things that make you sad and be joyful in life. God said, "Be joyful, be merry, drink and be drink, eat, drink and be merry." That's why He told us to be drink, eat, drink and be merry. There's a place for us to live after 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 we live here. We go to a better place when we leave this planet. Mm -hmm. yeah. My name is Azira, and I was born with a disability called cerebral palsy, which affects my muscles and sometimes my motor skills. Well, words are like very hard for me to express because I feel like most of the time some people overlook my words or they misunderstand me. So painting is like you don't really have to be verbal. Um, painting is like another form of communication. It's like something where um, you could use a certain color and a person can pick up and say, oh, is that what she's feeling? Or maybe she's feeling this type of way because of certain things. You know, so it's all different types of forms of communication. It just depends on how you want to look at it. Well, painting can show, it may show some of my frustrations. It may show some of my good times, some of my bad times, and some of my in-between times. But it is up to the person that sees it to say, well, that doesn't mean that she's a bad person. She might be just going through stuff just like we do. Just a little different or a lot more than I do. I may express, I don't know, it could be childhood pain. Um, it could be happiness. It could be frustration. It could be anger. Just never know. Just whatever your mind and your arm and your emotions allow you to go, that's what you put. Well, most of the time, I already have an image in my head. Like, whatever color I see in my head, I try to just put it on the board. Mm -hmm. And then I, if I see a mixture color, then I'll try to mix it and bring that, that feeling and emotion across. Well, it can bring up some negative emotions at times, and then when the art is all finished, then it, it might bring up some things that, Oh, maybe I can do this. Oh, I never thought I could do this because I never had the chance. So, I'm always into trying new things, even though I've never tried them before. I think that it has helped me become a better person, not so angry, not so withdrawn, um, not wanting to be around people. So, I think that it gives me a better, give people a better understanding of who I am as a person. Because they don't just see my wheelchair, they see my my art through a different light. Back in the day, I guess when people were becoming social workers and case managers and doctors and clinicians and you know those doctors that prescribe medicine, they're they're stuck on the the fact that we got to go about it this way and you got to do what I say do, you know. But that's not giving a person a voice. You should work together with that person and say, well, what can I do to help? You know, because we work together as a team. You know? Art can basically keep you out of institutions. It can give you something, a brighter door open. You know, it can close down doors that should have been closed down a long time ago. And it can help you release whatever you're feeling, whether it's pain, frustration, not being heard feeling left out or discriminated against, it can help, you know, close some of those doors down. I think that, you know, 
It's a lot of people that have been stuck on the fact, well, I have a mental illness and my case manager says I can't do this or my parents say I can't do this because of such and such. And I think what we have to do is bring a lot of families together and say, well, just because your, your child has a disability and a mental illness doesn't mean that they can't reach for the stars. That it doesn't mean that you're supposed to limit them. What you should, whatever their ability is, you should work towards that, work on that ability, and help help them become something that they desire. Whether it's working for themselves, advocating for themselves, being a parent, driving a car, it shouldn't matter. Because I've had a lot of people that say, I can't do this and I can't do that. I may can't do it as well as you, but I can do something in this world. If you give me the chance, I can probably do it. But if you always stigmatize me or put me down, then you're missing out. Well, my name is Richard Mogar. I've been coming here to Bridges for some two years now. And uh, I stay at home with my parents, my mother, my father, and my sister. And um, uh, I enjoy coming here to Bridges, and I enjoy doing art to help me in my recovery. Mm -hmm. um, here, I'm part of the food, uh, food group, mm -hmm. and we um, learn things about the kitchen and the supplies. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm also part of the expressions group where um, we learn different types of art, all mm -hmm. types of days. And um, we get to um, show it to each other and we talk about things. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I, like, I like those things. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I think my case manager um, uh, suggested it for me mm -hmm. after she was working with me for some time. Mm -hmm. And um, we were thinking about this would be a good place for me to help me. I like to draw with um, uh, drawings and um, I like to use colors with them too. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it's um, something that I enjoy doing and uh, it makes me feel good about myself. And I also like um, the different colors that I could use. Mm -hmm. And I get to show things about myself, I think, to other people and they get to tell me about it, mm -hmm. what they like and what they don't like. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I have some words um, in different colors. I have, for example, here is the word strong, and here the word hope in green, and here in red. And it's just um, how uh, I think um, I'm doing in my recovery. And I like to use different colors to make different shapes and designs. Mm -hmm. And different um, things that I like, like for example here, I, I have two people hugging. And then in the background in blue, I have the word saying hugs. Mm -hmm. So it just um, makes me feel happy and try to put positive things there. Mm -hmm. Because it makes me feel like I can do something, do something positive, do something for myself. And um, I, uh, I enjoy the process of it because I can um, learn how to do different things and stop. Um, um, from time to time, I can check it at a different time and was wondering maybe I should have done this better, things like that. I wanted to show some good things about um, what I try to do, like something that um, I try to get involved with, like mm -hmm. for example basketball, That's, I like to play basketball, mm -hmm. and um, um, just um, the sun for example, I was thinking about you know how the sun makes people think about a brand new day, mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm because they always tell me that I'm doing a good job at it. And um, my father, for example, tells me that I, from when I was younger, that this is something that he likes, likes, likes seeing me do. Mm -hmm. And he's proud of me and he gives me like some confidence in myself. Mm -hmm. So I really enjoy that. Mm -hmm. My friends have been telling me that um, they like my drawings and they think I should keep at it. Mm -hmm. it. It helps me with my self-esteem because it makes me feel like I can keep going forward and doing better for myself and like um, if I know that they they think I'm doing good then they think that um, it's something that I should keep at and know that it's something good. And um, I just thought it'd be a good thing for me to participate 
and um, I think it's a great idea for people to see other people's work and say, hey, look what she did. She's doing something good for herself, you know? Um, maybe I think it's something that people need to hear sometimes because they could go throughout their day sometimes feeling bad about themselves and not all that great. And if they can see that they're doing something that they know is um, helping themselves, then they say, hey, they're doing a good job, you know, they're just trying to, they're trying to help themselves out. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it, it can affect the person and how they see that person. It can show them um, certain feelings, like if they're feeling happy or sad, they can see that in the artwork. Some people like to do those things. For example, I like to put positive things about things that I want to I wanna be about or they say um, he's he's um, showing um, certain certain color patterns, and he's being you know he's some is something that they're good at, mm -hmm. and um, uh, like that. Mm -hmm. so, yes, um, I, I tell myself um, I want to do this type of thing at this time, and um, it'll slowly but surely come out in it, and I'll start saying mm, I want it to turn out this way, and then um, I'll just try different things at sometimes. Sometimes I might feel sad and um, I'll try to think about something that I enjoy. Mm -hmm. So um, I'll try to put that on the, the paper or the, the canvas and see how, how it can go. Mm -hmm. It's something that has been with me since I was young mm -hmm. and um, I really enjoy how you can do things and show them to the people. It's like if you put it um, down and they can see it and they can talk about it and you can learn something different every day if many people are seeing it then um you get different different views and you can say oh is this something that i didn't know i was showing but it's something that they said that they saw in it mm -hmm. so um that's interesting and i hope people can like try to see those things when they see the artwork mm -hmm. and the project and it's a uh, it's just I think it's real good mm -hmm. yeah, um, trying to show some um, clear clear pictures in their heads mm -hmm. that they, they they're trying to maintain some stability in life I think mm -hmm. it helps out that way